An easement is a document that's executed by the owner of the property, basically giving the right to another party, whether it be a neighbor for an ingress and egress or access easement, or to a utility company so that they could put in their, their pipeline or their, their electricity lines. And it's a document that allows this second party, whether it be the neighbor or or an independent utility company to have the right to access your property for these specific purposes and the purposes are set forth in the document. And generally the easement will only cover a very small piece of your property or you'd want to make sure that the easement only covers a small piece of your property because otherwise you'd have limited uh, rights to the remainder of your property. If there's a recorded easement against your property, you do need to allow the other party, the second party to the document, access to the property as, as spelled forth in the easement agreement. Um, some of the agreements are very specific to the utility companies telling them that they can only have access during business hours. If they do disturb the surface of the property, they'd have to return the surface to the same condition. In other words, if there was sod, they were going to have to lay sod. Um, but but it's, most documents do not allow for elaborate landscaping. So if you put um, you know, a $10,000 landscaping in your backyard over an easement, and the utility company has the right to access the easement and disturb the landscaping, they may simply return it to sod and not the elaborate landscaping. So it's very uh, important that when you do any work on your property that you uh, f find out where the easements are located. And you would do that by reviewing your survey because the survey picture should show where the easements are located in, on the track of land.